Okay, search, let's get to uh, search engines. So again, I'm gonna make you upset. Your favorite is Google, is that right? Ah, so I, Google is bad on so many levels, um, yep. but whichever browser you, uh, whichever um, search engine you are using, I will say this, there are some things you can do within that search engine to increase your privacy. First of all, you should not be using autofill because when you're using autofill and it's coming up with those search suggestions, even if you don't press enter, that search engine is collecting what you're saying because that's how they're able to feed you those suggestions and they're storing that. Google wow. is a huge offender of that. So um, no, don't be using autofill when you do these things. My go-to is Brave. And now everyone's like, but Naomi, that's a browser. And you exactly. said browsers and search engines are different. They are. Brave used to just be a browser. Now Brave is also a search engine. The reason why I like them, it's for two reasons, uh, privacy focused and neutral. So if you, let's unpack what it means to be neutral. If you go to Google, Google will show you search results according to what they prioritize. So let's say that they decide that Naomi Brockwell is a terrible person. You know, they could earmark any notes about, like uh, um, searches about Naomi Brockwell and say, we'll prioritize these ones. The ones that say, you know, yeah. Naomi Brockwell is a scammer. Naomi Brockwell is a Australian in the worst sense of the word, <laughs> like whatever they want to say. Um, or if they really like me, they could say, well, Naomi Brockwell is, Flawless. She is a privacy goddess, like whatever. But what you just know that whatever you're searching, Google is filtering that according yeah. to their algorithm, according to what they think it's information you should and shouldn't get. I take a lot of issue with that. I don't want someone deciding for me what's truth and what's not. I want to see everything out there and decide for myself because I think that I'm a rational human being who has the capacity to do that. And I think most people do. I used to recommend DuckDuckGo as my search engine of cho yeah. choice. Yeah. But then DuckDuckGo started to filter results in this way. DuckDuckGo also had the privacy and the neutrality thing going for it for them now they no longer have the neutrality thing they announced uh, a couple of months ago that they would start to sort uh to get rid of disinformation but i'm sorry i don't think that they're the yeah. arbiters of truth i don't think that they even have the resources to determine what's true and what's not so i'm not going to trust a sorting algorithm that prioritizes certain content you know according to their ideas of, of truth so i now use brave brave is both a meta search engine and a pure search engine what that means is a pure search engine is one where the the search engine has its own web crawlers that go out and index everything and finds all of the sites. A meta search engine is one that basically pulls results from someone else. So they will use their own bots to index things, show you results based on that. But when they feel like the results aren't good enough, then they will also pull results. But they tell you what percentage of the results are pulled from somewhere else. So there will actually be like a little marker in your, your Brave search that says, you know, this is 10% from Bing because they had better images or whatever. So it just, it, they're very transparent with that stuff and I really appreciate that. Um, the reason why meta search engines aren't always the answer, first of all, you're still getting the filter from yeah. wherever they're pulling. Um, so there's another search engine called Start Page. It is yep. a meta search engine. Uh, I actually, I actually really like Start Page. They are a privacy focused page, and their whole shtick is we allow you to search Google privately. So they're pulling everything from Google. You still get all of the, you know, filtering that Google does. But let's say, for example, I'm on a different search engine and I'm looking for something obscure. No results come up. I'm like, well, Google would probably find this for me. But I don't want to go to Google because it's collecting all my data. It's yeah. not a private tool. I can use something like Start Page, get the Google search results, uh, but I can access that privately. And what um, Start Page does is sometimes they'll like archive it so you don't even have to see it directly. Um, so there are lots of different uh, tools that they use there. So I like them as a proxy when Brave doesn't suit, but honestly, 90% of the time, at least, uh, Brave suits me fine. It's interesting because DuckDuckGo was always the preferred choice, mm -hmm. it seemed. Wasn't there yeah. something recently where they there was a big hoo-ha on Twitter where they Microsoft ads, or sorry, Microsoft trackers were getting allowed through or something? Yeah. 
Yeah, that was complicated. And I have to admit, I don't know, I don't understand the details, but I did see a conversation with the CEO pushing back against people's complaints, saying it's all a little overblown. Uh, we're basically saying that, you know, there are certain instances where we have to use these trackers from okay. Microsoft. People were saying, well, you know, see, they're compromised because they, yeah. they, there are big corporate interests involved with them. And he was saying, well, no, it's not really how it worked. But to be honest, I, I, I'm, I'm not even thinking about DuckDuckGo anymore. It's That's not in my privacy toolbox anymore because when they started the filtering, that was such a foundational pillar yeah. of why people liked them because they really pushed this neutrality perspective that when they decided to backtrack on that, I, it just made me not trust them. So I, I just I just can't I just can't trust the narrative anymore from them. And maybe they're still doing good stuff, but I just I just stay clear of them. I think it's a really good point that you raised there. It's um it's not only the stuff it's not only the tracking, is it? It's like it's like they filtering the world that you see. And that's a really yeah. good point. Um yeah, so I mean that's interesting because I've always used DuckDuckGo as my sort of like privacy thing. But um I see that Brave so Brave is both a browser and a search engine. I saw that by default they use their own search engine. You have to change it mm -hmm. to someone else. Um, but I mean, I think you've also raised the point. The problem often is with when you go to Google, you get better results sometimes than you do with some of these other search engines. And that's where you'd use start page, is that right? Yeah, I mean, Google has such an astronomical amount of resources. If you look yeah. at the resources Brave has, yeah. they could perhaps argue that they have 1% of the uh, browser share on the internet, which seems big, but it's a drop in the bucket when you can yeah. fare that to Chrome, for example. So I think it was first quarter of this year, Google made $54 billion just from advertising and collecting data about people. I think it was like 60 something billion dollars just from Q1 of this year. They have astronomical resources at their disposal. So yes, they can have great trackers that, I yeah. mean, um, spiders that go out there and index things. Um, so their results, can find these pages that other sites, other search engines just haven't indexed yet. So start page is a great tool for getting access to those without the privacy invasion. Uh, but most sites that you visit will be indexed pretty well by, by most search engines and, and Brave does a great do job most of the time I found. That's great, I mean, that's great advice. So what I also like about Brave um, is if I wanted to get like a someone, let's say uh, my grandmother as an example, or someone who's not that tech savvy, it's not that difficult. Uh, Brave is, is very simple compared to like Tor. Trying to get someone to use Tor is, is, a, is a bigger hurdle. So I, I like the way Absolutely. that you you like saying, don't sacrifice too much because then someone's not gonna implement privacy.